Uh, uh. Hi, um, Virginia Lopez with the Seattle Lesbian. Um, I was just wondering, with going into the playoffs, is it a total change of your mindset, or is it just play as usual? Well, do you want me to answer that? Anyone. Uh, this time of year is just, it's compete, do what we do. We've earned the right to be able to do that. and. That's pretty much how we go about it. We don't make it bigger than it is. It's essentially, you go 60 feet and you turn left, the size of the bases don't change, and we gotta be able to play our game, and that's what we're pre preparing to do. Uh, Heather, at the outset of the season, you said that this team was more of an unknown than recent teams. Uh, how has that played out, the sort of the discovery process of finding out about this team and how have they come together? It's, it's taken a while for this group to, to gel and you know, we were patiently impatient with that and I think mostly you didn't realize how big of a deal it was to integrate nine new people into your system. So that was a challenge, but exciting, and we knew the unknown was an excitement part of the things, but you know, our constants, our, our pitching and our defense, and our offense has uh, found a way to get in a rhythm and um, come together, and we know a little bit more about what we have and where we're going, and it's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, the three freshmen in the lineup right now have been able to contribute significantly, um, and we're just trying to see how good this group can get. Could the players kind of chime in on that one and sort of the growth of the team throughout the season? Um, I think it's pretty cool to see, you know, especially not just the freshmen and, you know, because we keep talking about them as being newcomers, but at this point in the season, they're, they're no longer newcomers. They're just, they've been here just as long as we have um, for this season. And I think it's not to see how well they've started to perform, but how well we've p been performing as a team together on and off the field, like in the weight room and everything that we're doing, it's, we're one tight unit. And I think that's something that's super cool to see at this point in the season. How cool is it to have Seattle U playing in this thing too? And you faced them once this year and it took a no hitter to beat them. Uh, Coach? Yeah, it's, it's awesome for our area. We don't have a lot of Division One schools in the state of Washington that compete at this level. And I think we've always known that they've been able to and had the capacity to. We thought maybe last year would be their year. And, you know, unfortunately they weren't able to get it done in their tournament. But for them to be able to do what they've done um, is just impressive um, for them to, you know, not, not be the four seed and, and be in the middle. I think that's cool. And um, we're proud that they represent the same state that we come from. For the players, you also faced Mississippi State this year in Puerto Vallarta. What do you remember about the Bulldogs other than three solo home runs? Um, I think the biggest thing is that they were really competitive, uh, just not just with the home runs, but like everything that they did. So we have to make sure that we do what we do and stay on task with it, because if we let ourselves go, that then they're going to capitalize on that. So we've got to make sure that we take them just as seriously as every other game. Uh, Coach Char, um on Selection Sunday, are you even looking ahead before the show at other team scouting, or is it really just to find out those three teams you got to start preparing for when it happens? Well, it's a challenge because you, you want to be prepared, and we're a team that you know gains a lot of confidence through our preparation, and so we definitely do look ahead at the scope and how it works and how it plays out, but at the end of the day, I think our team, especially these three up here, really understand that it's playing the game one pitch at a time and staying in the moment and being where we need to be, where we need to be there and, um, you know, getting ready for the first game and playing the game again one pitch at a time. And I know you talk a lot about how much teams change over the course of the year and you played both uh, Seattle U and Mississippi, Mississippi State earlier this season. Is it one of those where you just assume that they've changed enough that you're more looking at the games they've played these past couple weeks or are you going back to that film of when you saw them earlier? Um, not to avoid your question, but I think that our biggest concern is playing the game on Friday night and knowing who we are as a team 
and knowing how much we have evolved since the middle of March um, before the Pac-12 season started, I think that you know our conference record speaks for itself in terms of our evolution and our abilities and capabilities as a group from this point. And we really, you know, we know we're a different team. We know every team's a different team. And it, you know, they played us, we've played them all the way around. And the team that we haven't played and that we have to concern ourselves with is the first game that we play against Fordham. Uh, how, how much of a luxury is it to have these two pitching aces? You know, a lot of teams are lucky to have one and you've got two. And how do you make the decisions in a tournament like this on, on how to deploy them? Mm. We're so lucky to have the, the dimension that we do in these two. And for both of them to be smart, experienced, and have the capabilities that we do, um, it definitely gives us an advantage. Um, we have a chance to win every single game that we play from here on out because of our pitching staff and because of our defense. And it definitely gives us, uh, for sure, you know, um, confidence and the ability to mix it up and not get stuck in a rotation, be able to be diverse and, and mix them in and use one as a closer, uh, just give dif different looks as we go throughout a weekend like this. So you just played by your mm -hmm. <laughs> You don't want to say anything. Well, I mean, the, the good thing is that they're completely different. And so they complement each other in any way, shape, or form. So you, we do have the luxury. Uh, you know, we, you, of course, we know what we want to do this weekend, and we know how we're going to approach it. But for them, they, they're they versatile, and they're selfless, and they work together. So you don't have a problem as a coach really being able to strategically use them as the game says that you need to use them. Wireless mic. I know. <laughs> um, Morgan, talk about the uh, offensive side of things. You know, going against Fordham tomorrow, you may have seen them on film, but not face them. Um, you know, um, what kind of mindset do you have going in, and, and um, what do you look for as a hitter? I think it's just being competitive with each pitch and taking it pitch by pitch and our offense is really good at doing that and working together, um, giving each other a lot of feedback. So we're not going to take it as a different game, just pitch by pitch as we usually do. And with the um, the freshmen, I know you know Taryn said you know they they've been on in this season as long as you guys, but have they pleasantly surprised you? Was it? Hey, I expected that from them. What kind of things can you say about the, the new hitters on the team? Mm -hmm. We knew that coming in, the freshmen were going to be 100% all in, working hard, um, giving everything that they have to the team. And so it's awesome to see a lot of them stepping up and um, giving everything that they have. So it's awesome. Morgan, a, a few of your home runs have gone to the lake this year. I've been told that if you lose the softball, you have to go find the softball. <laughs> have you found most of the ones that have cleared the fence and gone to the lake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coach Tar um, makes me get the machine balls, but <laughs> uh, yeah, um, some fans have given me some, but I haven't found so, a lot of them. I don't know. A more serious question: <laughs> That do you feel the season you're having is opening up and getting better pitches, pet, better pitches for the, the teammates behind you in the lineup? Sorry, can you repeat the question? I didn't hear you. Because of your productivity, do you feel that they're being a little careful with you, and your other teammates are getting better pitches to hit them behind you? I, I mean, I don't think so. I think we're getting pitched competitively each at bat. Um, I just try to go up there and produce for my team. So whatever pitches I get, I'm going to do what I can with them. Uh, with, with five Pac-12 teams in this tournament and three ranked in the top six, uh, how much does that help to kind of go through that, that tough weekend every, every weekend to, to get here and both coach and yeah. a couple players? I think the biggest thing for our conference at the top, it's super strong. And, you know, to face a team three times on a weekend that you know and they know you is probably our toughest challenge. And there's sometimes when you're on and there's sometimes when you're not on. And when you're not on, it's super humbling. You almost, you, you, you want to dig a hole and hide sometimes when it is that it, like that. So we've experienced some up, ups and downs and 
we're confident because of both of those you know things that have happened to us this year specifically but we've definitely seen a, a bunch of different pitchers a bu bunch of you know different things and you know you're going to get everybody's best every single time you play them and that's what makes us strong at this point in time of the year um, every season that we get to play in our conference. I mean I think it's pretty cool to look at our conference and know that we're playing against teams that we're also going to have the chance of seeing in postseason. I mean there's no better practice than actually playing those teams um, not once or twice but three times and so I think the preparation that we've gotten from you know just over the years of playing against these teams and these programs is helping us not like just in postseason but just future down like down the line and i know you're a one game at a time person but do you feel like you're at a point now where you're kind of poised for a good run you're, you're where you need to be going into the postseason i just think the way that we feel right now is that um, we've taken this week to prepare for the weekend and it's going to be a battle it's going to be hard um, but we, we know we're ready for it. We know we can compete. So um, you start predicting, you know, how long. I mean, I just say, like, you got you to gotta take advantage of the opportunities you have. You got to be able to play your game. And you got to cherish the opportunity, but be humble enough to know, like, your season could be done on Monday. So we're trying to enjoy each other and see how good we can get over these next few days. But, um, you know, we believe in ourselves wholeheartedly, but we definitely – uh, you know, are humble enough to know you got to continue to compete and get better. One, one last question from me. Um, what was the, was the process of sort of evaluating the freshmen? How did that go? And it looks like you've kind of settled on three who are yeah. integral parts of the, of the team. Was that just sort of survival of the fittest kind of thing? Or, or <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think just the lineup, obviously, there was a lot of openings. Uh, we graduated five of the you know some of our top offensive players and people that have been in our lineup for three four years so that was a really big challenge and big you know shoes for those freshmen to fill and asking a lot of them you know we asked sammy reynolds to hit behind morgan flores and hit in the three hole for a big period of time in this season and um it's it's just you're proud of who she's becoming um you're proud of um, you know, all of them specifically, but you know, Maddie Husky brings right-handed power at the, the bottom of the lineup. She is one of our best outfielders out there. Um, and, uh, you know, just overall in general, like filling that third base spot, I mean, it's a lose-lose for whoever <laughs> sit, fits there for Taylor Van Z, you know. So that's, that's you know, big, big huge shoes to fill. But I think they've done a, an admirable job. I think they're continuing to improve. I just think one of the neatest stories I think I've seen just throughout this past week is when we have been you know, going over our plans and, um, you know, doing what we do. You hear somebody like a Sammy Reynolds um, who, you know, looks back in March and says, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know, I was doing those things and I can't believe I was, you know, we were doing this. We're, you know, we're so much better now. And it just, like, kind of warms your heart to know that they've bought into the process and really understand what Husky softball is all about. And I'm just excited for them to have the opportunity this weekend um, because it definitely grows you throughout these, you know, periods of times, whether it's this weekend or on, on beyond. But it, it, they're, they've been great contributors so far. Um, Taryn and Gabby, um, you know, last year basically you've um, pitched a lot of complete games. This year you're sharing a lot. You're, you're going in for each other. Does, how as a pitcher does, does your mind have to change or adapt to that? And does it play any part in, in how you pitch a game? Um, well, I think that especially for this team, we're always sort of ready whenever we're needed. We don't really have the... Um, requirement that we have to know exactly when we're going in which is like proven by the fact that we don't really ever find out when we're pitching it until about an hour before the game <laughs> so um, we're sort of always just prepared and um, I think it's really cool that we can both pitch whenever it's needed because like coach Charles said we are very different and I'm really excited to pitch with Taryn and it's just yeah it's really cool I think what's super cool is like when we practice 
when we go over film, when we talk with our coaches, it's always together. Um, we never, I mean, very rarely, unless our schedules are just opposite, but we approach everything the same, even though we're completely different. And I think that's what sets up our, you know, our, our plan or our minds and gets us ready for whoever we're playing, whatever, you know, order we go in. Um, we're both equally as prepared. And I think that's what's super cool about us is just that we can, I can talk to her about something, she can talk to me, or we can talk to the coaches and we just kind of figure it out together. And I think that's how we, we work together so well. Morgan, does that change your mindset when they switch like that? How, you know, I've never pitched like that. <laughs> you know, what do you think as a catcher? Yeah, I love catching both of them, and uh, there are times when they do split games, but my mindset is the same. Just go out, uh, support my teammate, and catch the ball. <laughs> uh, sorry, taking it game by game, what do you see out of Fordham? Um, I think in, just in general, you get a team that has won their conference, um, no matter how it's happened, um, a team that knows how to win. They're an, an older team. They have a lot of seniors on their team. Um, and they're, you know, they're going to be prepared and they're going to fight for their lives. Um, they, they run the bases well. Uh, they have a good athlete um, that we know about in the circle. And um, they're scrappy and they compete. Perfect. Come on back. Thanks, guys. Thank you.